arm, pump arm, and it's set with its own jack leg system. We've got a 12 meter reach at the back here, and on the end of the main arm is a hydraulic charge pump. We're able to, depending on the application, whether it's into a lagoon or above ground, into a store, from a store, we're able to connect either the lower part of the trailer or the upper part of the trailer, depending on, uh, on, the, on the conditions that the customer's faced with. show you now is we're able to start the engine up, engage the main clutch, engage the hydraulics on the charge pump and then ramp up the RPMs to 1250 RPM in this case because we're on a test facility and then we can see the actual machine working. Underneath here we've also got an additional uh, electric fuel pump which means that when you're working on remote jobs uh, for long long periods of time the tractors are often be the first machines to run out of fuel rather than the pump unit so we've got additional capacity to, to be able to fuel tractors also. Storage lockers uh, down the side of the machine here along with a uh, uh, integrated battery storage box which keeps the batteries uh, safely out of harm's way along with uh, toolbox areas which are also lockable and safe to keep your equipment in. With the hydraulic system comes a lot of thought into the service and, and long-term reliability of the system and because we've got a, a large capacity hydraulic oil tank we're looking at uh, renewing filters and testing oil rather than just changing the oil out to a specific service interval. Behind here is a, a facility to access the main hydraulic filter housing as well as the AdBlue tanks. Uh, work lights are fitted on, uh, on four corners of the machine along with the boom and there's also some internal lights for when uh, work needs to be carried out on the engine or any of the components under the canopy. Canopy is all lockable with the roller shutter doors to protect it from the elements.